Okay, let's go. All right, we're here today doing the six mile mark between this will be the sixth mile in the video series on the Duck River Trail. It is about 53 degrees, I'd say, right now. There we go. What does that sound? Must be somebody working or something. All right, here's the first wooden bridge on the six mile point. Cross a little creek here. I'll stop and let you get a view of this. There's to the lake side. Come back and as in the past, past videos, you can see it comes up from a little branch. There we go. Let's get it. Get it. Okay. You gonna let me hock ahead? with my older sister, April, and she doesn't want to be on camera or be heard. So I'm gonna hock ahead of her so I can talk. This is a really pretty area through here with all these like little uh, trees and stuff. Very pretty through here. Down there, a little truck cut through through the trail right down there to the water side. Okay, straight back up. As you can notice, it's a lot of steep embankment on the right hand side. They really had to cut the trail out through here, so we'll just sleep in bank right there on the right hand side. Sorry for the jitteriness. It's not as smooth as walking as, it, as it's normally been.
Is the pace good enough for you? Sorry about the finger adjusting my camera. Got caught in there. We started this hike today about one o'clock, so it's going. So it's going to be more shadows than direct sunlight. Oh yes, yeah, pretty kind of how you kind of got the slope to the on the left to the lakeside. Always, always like that. Here's a little rock bridge formation. Either this mile or next mile is a place they used to call the Rock House. I'm not quite sure where it was at, but it was a popular like rock rock based cliff, small cliff. Uh, that would be a place to camp at and stuff on Duck River. And it, the remnants of it is still here somewhere, so I'll stop and point it out when I think I when I think it might be. Ooh, almost shrimp there. You can see there's down there. That's just kind of how steep it is down there. Okay. And here's that pretty little. As you can see, kind of shelf ledges going from up here all the way up. And it comes back down. Over the rock ledge. Falls it down into the creek there, of the lake. Okay. Be careful. If you hear me talking to anybody, it's my older sister's joining me on the hike today. So I'm shouting out during instructions to her to be careful and stuff. Cause this is like a rockier area of the trail than what, what she's walked before. Several boaters out today. Sorry, but the, if it gets a little jittery, I'm changing hands every so often. So there may be some stabilization issues there. As usual, I'm shooting ultra wide 
4K60, so I get as much picture as possible with my lens, iPhone 12 Pro Max. This right here is territory of one of my brother-in-laws. He used to live over here and come down here all the time camping and stuff. So if he ever watches this video, he'll know exactly where the rock house and stuff used to be. And this will be very familiar to him. A little, a little stream here. Going with a little incline here. Up there, I don't know what that is. Look, a little shooting house or something made out of tin. Let's see, old and down there is old, old remains of old fence and stuff. Pretty through here. And as you can see, the characteristics of the trail, they do have ribbons on trees, so you can make sure you're following the right trail. As you can see, there's the tree over here to the left, have this other yellow ribbon. And I might be able to hear this boater coming. He's over the ridge a little bit in the water. A lot of old hardwood pine over here. Makes the trees a lot of personality in the wintertime.
should be getting close to the end of the six mile point. Let's go this little water ledge here. Okay. Pretty good, how you doing? Just a uh, mountain biker past us. Okay. Should be getting close here. As you can see, they've been in a lot of cuts and rocks, border, borders, trees border. And have a little sign up here. The rules. Okay. Should be just about done with this mile any moment here. Really pretty through here, kind of low line area. Oh yeah, I see the six mile marker just right up here. It is not very far at all. Probably less than a hundred yards. This is the only second time I've ever came up this far on the trail. Last uh, October, early October, I did a 10 mile loop from the 1651 East uh, parking area over to the West parking area. It was a 10 mile loop. 
And so this is only the second time. So I've forgotten a lot of the characteristics of the trail on this side because I'm just not that familiar with it. As you can tell by the ribbon up here and ahead of us, I'm getting close to the end of the trail. Or the end of the six mile trail. All right.